It's the real thing this time, ain't it, Doc? That's, <laughs> that's why I called the hospital. Well, I got here as fast as I could. You know, you look kind of young to be a doctor. You sure you're a doctor? No, I'm in residence, uh, but I will be a doctor in six months. Well, I can't wait that long. <laughs> you might as well go and finish examining since you're in my residence. Where do you feel the pain? All up and down, Doc. Feel like an elephant standing on top of me. With them spiked golf shoes, feeling the tee off. Mm. Mm. It's my mm. heart, ain't it, Doc? <laughs> Mr. Sanford, relax. Your heart seems to be perfectly normal. In fact, I'd say that uh, what you have is probably no more serious than the run-of-the-mill garden variety gastritis. It's probably just something you ate. What did you have for lunch? I didn't have no lunch, Doc. I got too sick to eat. Did you have breakfast? Uh huh. What'd you have? I had waffles and ham hocks and candy sweet potatoes and peach cobbler and collard greens. Well, that's a very unusual breakfast, uh, Mr. Sanford. Man your age should start off the day with something lighter. Well, I do, but see, it was the last of the eight-day-old collard greens, and I had to get rid of them because they were smelling up the house. Eight-day-old greens? Collards. Well, what you're suffering are severe gas pains and a bad case of indigestion. Uh, you wouldn't lie to me, would you, Doc? I mean, you know, like some doctors won't tell their patient how, how, how bad off they are, and then, because you don't want to scare them, then the next thing you know, you go to sleep, and wake up dead. <laughs> All you have is a very bad stomachache. Now, it should clear up by tomorrow, and uh, you'll be your old self again. Thanks a lot. Uh, look, just come here a minute, Doc. Yep. Uh, would, would you like a glass of Ripple before you go? <laughs> Rip, what's that? What's that? Oh, well, if you, you got to ask questions, you, you couldn't be one of us. <laughs> uh, I just thought maybe, you know, you might be trying to pass. <laughs> Hey, what's that ambulance going over there? Is there something wrong with my father? Oh, uh, nothing serious. I'm Dr. Stewart. You're Mr. Sanford's son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just has a very bad case of gas and acute indigestion. Oh. Seems he uh, ate some eight-day-old collard greens for breakfast, and uh, they didn't agree with him. Eight-day-old collard greens wouldn't agree with Superman. <laughs> I told him to get rid of them things. They had the whole house smelling like a pot liquor factory. And he ate him. That was stupid. Well, look, in any case, he's really not in any mood to be chastised, uh, so it might be a good idea to sort of just go easy on him. Oh, don't worry. Look, there'll be no chastising. See, you got me at the right time. From here on in, there's gonna be nothing but self-discipline in that house. Self-discipline and control. And I got the discipline to do it. Oh, that's nice. Are you a Zen Buddhist? Uh, no, I'm a double Libra and Baptist. <laughs> Well, anyway, he should just stay off his feet for the next day or two, at least till the uh, stomach problem clears up. Uh, all he probably needs is just one big belch. Well, is there anything I should do for him? Just stand back. <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, Pop, how you feeling? I'm a little sick, son. I know. I saw the doctor on the way in, and he told me. He did? What'd he tell you? It's bad, ain't it? Oh, no. Why do you say that? <laughs> Why are you smiling at me like Bella Lugosi or something? Like well, can I smile at my own father? <laughs> well, why are you starting today? It's serious, ain't it? Look, Pop, if there was anything seriously wrong with you, now you'd know I'd tell you. Sure you would. Just see me suffer. <laughs> I don't want to see you suffer. You're my father, and I love you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. If you did, you'd have sympathy pains. You mean to tell me you want me to be sick just because you're sick? Yeah. I don't want to suffer you all by myself. A family that's sick together sticks together. You know, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. You know, you ought to be ashamed of yourself, Pop. And I'm not going to stand up here and... 